Welcome back to my next tutorial. So today we're going to remove this is a broken bolt here. So this is a broken bolt of uh, this is 10 millimeters, 1.5, 1.25 here. So we are inside the car at the bottom. If you try to check here, because if you try to wash, this is a vehicle here. We are inside the vehicle. So we're going to remove this uh, this bolt here. So watch carefully because we have tried to hold it, so remove it with welding and it has failed. So now I'm going to show you a trick how to remove this bolt here uh, using a drill. So this is a drill here using a grind. This is an angle grinder. Also this is a drill. Also there is a step down. So let's try because my machines they use 100, uh, 110. So let's first, what I'm going to first do. We are going to first remove this welded thing here. Let's, let's first remove that welded thing. So you have removed it until you see that you have reached the surface and be careful not to cut the surface. So also put that in manual folding. So now you can see that uh, this is uh, a broken bolt here inside him so as you are seeing so now what we're going to first do we're going to put uh, we're going to center punch it so, uh, we're going to center punch it so, so we're going to first drill in uh, with a small bit that is like four millimeters so this one here so we are going to drill with this 4 millimeter drilling bit. So after sharpening the bit here, so let's drill in. So remember this is a 4 millimeter drilling bit, but you can use either 4, 5, they can work. So now you have to be so now you have to be a bit so careful when trying to drill in because if you drill in you have to you have to listen for the, you have to listen to the drill so you listen to the drill the sound it makes so when it's trying to penetrate in it will change the sound when the, the bit is going to pass through so you have to put all your feelings and uh, your your ears to the sound of the drill Now we have passed through the hole. So we have passed through the hole. I don't know whether I let me try to change the camera. So we have passed through the hole. So since the bolt is of of 10 millimeters, so we are going to drill in with a uh, uh, remaining uh, with 8 millimeters to leave like two millimeters. Then the two millimeters. I'll show you how to remove those two remaining two millimeters. So, Let's sharpen the drilling bit with number A. So to drill in with uh, eight millimeters here, so I'm going to use this is eight millimeters. So to drill in with eight millimeters here, uh, they recommend us on the drilling on the tap uh, to do when you are trying to cut the threads to drill in with eight point five millimeters or eight point seven five. So so you use that basic to drill in. So for drilling in, so for me I'm using eight millimeters plane leave the rest of the like 1.0.5 just to, to be sure of to be like for the safety of the threads so you have to be in a straight line so you have to be so you have to be sure and you have to be in a straight line so like this we have we have tried to work under the vehicle today but let us try to so you have to be sure how to check whether you are not bending or you are not uh, the bit is not drilling inside the the threads the remaining threads so you have to be more uh, accurate in when you are in a straight line
so now we have passed through. We have passed through the bolts. So now, as we see here, we have passed through the broken bolt. So now it's time for removing this bolt here. So let's let me show you the trick. So the thing is easier. So after removing that, remember we are mining with two millimeters inside. So what we are going to do, I use this tool here. This tool here, as we are seeing it, so it's a bit flat here, but uh, under sharp point at this side. So this is what I use. Let me try to sharpen it a bit so that we can make it easier. So what we are going to do. You're going to use this. Uh, you to use, try to wash how I handle it. Uh, I'm trying to put it in the point, just to, like in a slanting angle, just to remove these remaining pieces. If you try to do like this, so let me try to put on the camera. So if you try to check here, so this is what I've been trying to tell you. So let me try to extend the camera here. Okay, so like this. So as you are saying now, we have to remove these remaining pieces by this use of such a tool here. So I'm trying to, I want to show you the remaining pieces here. So let me try to show you the remaining pieces. So as you are seeing here, those are the remaining pieces here. So. We try to look inside so these are the remaining piece so these are the two millimeters we're trying to remove so let me try also to zoom in like this okay so we shall proceed with the procedure and then remove them all of them so like this so, so that's another trick so this bolt was be, has been welded and it, the bolt refused to get out, so how to remove it like that. That's the only style now remaining for you to remove this bolt here. Also, if you try to check inside the threads here, so let me try to get a focus. Okay, let me try to get a focus here. Let's wait. So, if you try to check the threads so now you are seeing that the threads they are inside there so if i do like this to get the focus so you are seeing that the threads are remaining inside so we have a destroy the threads that's the trick i've been trying to send you and to tell you and it's the one recommended so the other trick of removing it using uh, using welding it's easier but uh, most of the times it can even destroy the threads uh, you can remove the bolt, but uh, sometimes you end up destroying the bolt, the threads. So it's the trick they have been using here to remove these uh, the remaining pieces. Stuff like this. So that's the trick. You have to also to have a small torch. So let's try again to drill in. So this time round, don't use. So the lot those remaining pieces we have been knocking, which are uh, a bit stuck inside here. So, so to remove them, you don't use the eight millimeter drilling bit, because if you try it again to use this eight millimeter drilling bit, you may end up destroying the threads inside. You may not be actual enough. So use a smaller bit. So I'm going to use. Uh, let me try to see. Okay, let me use. Let me use this one. This is seven millimeters. Okay, let's just use maybe this seven millimeters, but you can use seven and below. But don't again put in the drilling, uh, the mid-ring bit of um, eight millimeters. So let's try. So to remove those remaining pieces. So if you try to check, so those remaining pieces here. So if you try to check inside them. So you have to remove the dust. So yeah. You have to remove the dust. So we can try to check inside. 
I'm seeing uh, we are mining with uh, like three to four threads which have not been uh, uh, the, uh, which have not been removed with uh, okay. So let's try to finish. So I'm going to put in some energy if possible. Okay. So yeah. So now we have done. <laughs> we are done. So this is the piece now which has been remaining inside here. So if you try to check the first, let me first move the. So if you try to check inside the hole, if you try, let me try to move the camera. So if you try to check inside here. The threads are okay. So just uh, uh, just to make sure that the ball, the threads are fine. So we are going just to thread inside. So using this tap here, this is 10 times 1.25 the pitch. So we are just going to thread inside. Those are the taps. So we are going to thread in. So let's try using this the first one. So I had here handle. So let's use this key handle. So, so, like this. So, if you have been following me, please subscribe, share, like, and uh, don't forget to to give me a thumbs if my work is good. So, just kindly, please, kindly, yeah. So, because uh, if you subscribe, you give me more energy out to make these tutorials. So this is a ball here, so let's test. So now everything is fine. So everything is fine and okay. So thank you for watching. So let me also show you exactly what we have been doing inside here. So let me try to check the threading. That's enough. Yeah, so now we are finished. So if you try to check inside here, the threads they are okay and fine. So we have been cutting the threads. Let me show you. So the threads here of this this board here this is a shock absorber here so it had broken inside here so of the other side so this is what we have been removing this side this is for the shock absorber so.